Hello, this is Tofu from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can create oceans of water and the shaders in Blender by using this easy to use add-on called the Real Water add-on. Uh, it's an add-on that's not free, you have to pay for it, but it's just $6, which isn't too bad for what it can do. And it works in Blender from 3.4 to 4.0. I'm using 3.4 myself, and I'll leave a link below this video so you can download yourselves and check it out. But the installation process is still the same. Just go to Edit, Preferences. Make sure you're in the Add-ons option for the uh, this part of Blender. Click on Install. Navigate where you've downloaded it onto your computer. Click on Install Add-on. And once you've done that, let me type in Real. Put a check in the box and you're set to go. And it's on the right-hand side, which is the tool panel of Blender. And it's right here. You can have it in English and in Mandarin. I'm thinking that this that's what this is. This got a lot of options. It renders out in Cycles and in Eevee. But when you click through the thumbnails, it'll show you which ones are for Cycles and which ones are for Eevee. Even from the drop down menu, they're the same thing. If you want to look, read the uh, instructions in Mandarin, left click on that and it'll change it to Mandarin. Uh, hopefully, I'm saying I've got that right. Mandarin or Chinese, hopefully it's one of those. Left click again to go back to English. When you click on the drop down menu, you see that it has uh, quite a few titles here for the parameters or presets. Real cycles, blue tier cycles, real water EV, real water EV cycles, not cycle, just EV. Underwater cycles and ocean surface. Now you can choose any one of these, um, but I know sometimes it, when I first opened up the add on, it was kind of um, a little bit confusing because when you're in the main library it has these options these presets here when you go to real water cycles it's the same presets so i don't know why the first one is library and the next one is real water and it has the same options but that's i guess that's not here or there but let's look at um blue tears but before we do that i want to make a note or just point out that with ocean surface it brings out a plane which is quite large of the texture of uh, water. And the issue with that is it's very, very large. So when you import it, you're going to see it not show up completely in the viewport. But if that happens, all you have to do is go up to view here. And when it comes to the clip end, left click in there, left click again, I'm going to put a couple of zeros at the end of this. And that's going to increase your viewing range that we can see the whole ocean at the same time as opposed to having it clip off. But let's go back to the add-on. And let's go to blue tier cycles. And let's de delete this uh, cube here by pressing delete on our keyboard. And we're going to change our viewport so that it kind of matches a world, world setting, so to speak. So right now, the sky or the environment is gray. We want it to be like a sky blue color. Let's let's left click on that. Um, left click to scroll up and to give a, a lighter view of our sky. And then let's left click in the blue. And that looks pretty good. And then the next thing we're going to do is change the sun. Because the thing with this uh, add-on, it's going to import a body of water as a cube into, or a flat cube into the scene. And it actually refracts the light. So we're going to change our sunlight from a spotlight. Right now it's a spotlight. So left click on our spotlight here or point light. Click on that and click on this, um, that option there for the light settings. Let's pull this off so we can see this a little bit better. And we're going to turn this to the sun. Left click on sun and turn down the strength of it to five. Enter. Click in our color options and turn this to yellow. We want a yellow sun coming through. And now you have two options for the way you want the body of water to be imported into your scene. Uh, world setting, left click on that, it turns it to 3D cursor, which is going to, which means it's going to place the body of water wherever your 3D cursor is. So we're going to stick with 3D cursor and we're going to press import. And there's our, our body of water, the ocean. Now let's uh, change our viewport to cycles, left click in there. Right now it's an EV, so we're going to have to change that too. Left click on that icon there, EV, Cycles, to GPU Compute to make it a little bit faster. And as we let it settle and render out, you can see that it's been shaded already. It refracts, it's, which is impressive, it refracts the sunlight. 
And wherever the sun is, the source of the light is, that's how it's going to appear on the water, which is cool. And it's got, you can see it's got these little ripples in the water, which simulates real ocean. If you look real close, let's scroll down a little bit, you can see there are sediments at the bottom of the ocean. Now you have all these parameters here in terms of the color, color one, color two, you can change the color of the ocean, uh, the range of it, the scale of it, the emission, the strength, and so on and so forth. Uh, but what I would like to point out here is the sediments, which is impressive in itself. You can increase the sediments by pulling up uh, on this parameter here, it makes it more. You can pull it down and it makes it less. It increased the range of the sediments and you can actually increase floating sediments because when it comes to oceans of body of waters, there are always sediments floating inside of the water. So this sublimates, simulates that also. And if you want to increase the, or actually animate the ocean, just scroll down and click on animate, which is down here. Now we're going to pull this up. Now if you want to simulate it, all you have to do is hover your mouse over this parameter, press I. When it turns yellow, that means it's animated. You can see that by this little yellow diamond in the timeline. Uh, left click to move your timeline down a little bit. Left click in that parameter again. Let's increase it to 5. Enter and then press, or that's 50. Oh. Let me see that would go to 5. Okay, there we get, there it is. And then press I again. And now it's been, been animated. You can tell it's animated from the fact that um, the cube here is kind of, it's moved a little bit. So that means it's been animated. So that's how you can animate uh, the ocean in Blender. But what you, I'm not going to do it right now because it's going to take some time for you to, for you guys to see how it's moving. But that's how you can animate the ocean uh, in the add-on. I'm going to delete these um, keyframes here by pressing delete on my keyboard. And then go back to the beginning. But yeah, it's got all these options here. Uh, but one thing that kind of throws me off with it is the, these arrows. Usually when it comes to an arrow in Blender, you left click on it, there'll be a drop down menu, but that's not how this is laid out. I guess the arrow just shows you um, what parameters you can change, or parameters are available to be changed, which is not bad either. But besides that, that's that's fine. But yeah, this is the real water add-on and it's, and it's not so bad. You've got a lot of parameters to use to adjust, make adjustments to your scene, to the ocean color, sediment, so on and so forth. So it works pretty good. It's got white caps, water dispersion, water surface, everything is pretty much there, the roughness, so on and so forth. And it it's, uh, works great. One thing you have to keep in mind though is that when it comes to rendering, um, whether it be in Cycles or in Eevee, it takes some time to render out. So just be mindful of that. Uh, but besides that, it's a pretty good add-on add and that's today's Blender Quick Tip. And I uh, hope you guys, you know, download it and try it out for yourselves and see how useful it is. And once again, thank you guys who have been watching the videos and the tutorials. Really appreciate it. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.